Hey, it's Joshua with Cultural Catholic coming at you with another Monday video on our politics and political science mini-series, which will be a fairly long mini-series. Uh, so this is, like I said on Sunday, going to be about uh, legislatures and their types. Um, so first I'm going to go over more of like naming conventions and what they are, and then uh, go over forms and kind of examples of where they exist. Um, uh, but first, legislature. Yeah, I should probably define that before I go any further. A legislature is a body of uh, individuals either elected or appointed, depending on point in time and what kind of body it is with what kind of government is uh, being expressed through it is a body of individuals who makes laws, legislation. Um, how it is then enacted and ratified, it again depends on what kind of uh, government system is being used by the country in question, uh, be it a president or some other system, uh, it really does depend. Now there are typically four names that a legislature will have. And they are Parliament, Congress, Diet, and National Assembly. Now, first, I'm going to knock Diet out of the way. Diet typically is going to be used in a more historical sense, like the Imperial Diet or the Russian Diet before the uh, advent of the Soviet Union. Um, really, the only Diet that exists today would be the Japanese Diet, but that is largely due to its uh, Prussian influence on the Constitution. Uh, which dates back to the Meiji period restoration. Um, the, but largely, Diet is used to describe historical legislatures. Uh, then there are national assemblies. Now, sometimes this is used in a unicamp, in a, and I'll get over the go over these in more detail in unicameral systems to describe the entirety of the. Uh, of the uh, uh, legislature or sometimes the lower house of the legislature if it's a bicameral or tricameral system again it really does depend on how the 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 constitution of the country defines the le the legislature and the system that it uh, has uh, now on to the two more popular uh, there is the Congress and the Parliament. Um, uh, Congress is typically, uh, again, seen in either a, in any of the forms of cameralism. Um, uh, and so it, it again depends on how the government is defined, and a Congress typically seems a little bit more um, direct election uh, and uh, it's a little bit more direct election style. And then finally, there's the parliament, where it is typically more of a, uh, uh, with its election style, typically more of a proportional style um, with the elections. Now, there are, th as I mentioned, there are a few kinds of how legislatures are broken up. There's the unicameral, the bicameral, and the tricameral. Um, so unicameral basically means there's one House of Congress, or Parliament, or National Assembly. And again, National Assemblies typically are the form of uh, legislature in a unicameral system. Uh, an example of that would be uh, the National Assembly of Angola to pretty much every other um, it, it's probably one of the more popular uh, names for a unicameral system. Uh, the other popular for unicameral system would be a parliament. Uh, these typically, they're a single body of legislatures. Um, an example in the United States would be Nebraska, which I think is the only unicameral uh, legislature in the United States. Uh, so it um, it's a little bit more 
it's a, a bit of a combination in styles of uh, uh, a unicam uh, of cameral of the cameralism between the bi and the uni, in that uh, it, uh, it's a bit of a combination of cultures uh, that you'd see in a bicameralism. It's uh, it tends to be a little bit more direct uh, election, uh, like lower houses are in a bicameral system, but it takes from the upper house of bicameralism, the more uh, refined and dignified culture that uh, tends to be found in an upper house. Um, now, a bicameral system, which is probably a little bit more common than a unicameral system, um, you see that in the United States, obviously, with the House and the Senate. Um, uh, you also see that uh, another ex great example would be the United Kingdom between the House of Lords and the House of Commons. Uh, now, in a bicameral system, typically the upper house is either going to be appointed or uh, indirectly elected, but in the cases that it is directly elected, it's um, going to have a little bit longer uh, term than a lower house would, would have. So like in the House of Lords, it's kind of a hereditary seat in the UK, whereas in the United States, the Senate, you have six-year terms. Um, whereas in the House of Commons, there are regular elections, and kind of similar with the House of Representatives here in the US, it happens every two years. Now, there is typically a culture breakdown uh, between a unicameral, between the, between the houses and a bicameral system. The, the upper house typically is a little bit more dignified, a little bit more um, procedure, procedural in its nature, whereas the lower house is a little bit more rowdy uh, and it's designed to be closer to the people. Um, in uh, the House of Commons, uh, it's not un uncommon for, uh, pun intended, for uh, members to be shouting each other down while one someone's speaking. Um, or uh, in the U.S., granted it's an old example, it's not uncommon for people to start beating each other up. Um, it's actually why filibustering is not allowed in the United States House anymore. Um, and then a rare form is tricameralism. Uh, the only known that uh, known tricameral uh, uh, legislative government is in South Africa. Um, and it's um, it was uh, 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 typically divided up by race, and it wasn't exactly uh, 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 equal in how many people were uh, uh, put into each house. Um, uh, uh, it tip, it, it, it's the only one that actually existed for a good amount of time. The, although there was one for, uh, there have been others in the past, um, like Yugoslavia. There was also one in China for a little bit, but, uh, the legislative one, or was the control one? Uh, the control one, no, uh, the National Assembly, which was, um, uh, originally the National Assembly legislative and control ones were parliament and it was a tricameral system, uh, and the control one was originally indirect, but now it is, uh, nominated by the president. However, the National Assembly hasn't existence, existed since 05. And uh, the legislative one, it, uh, with just the legislative one actually use, having any control over legislation being passed, it's now a unicameral system. But yeah, tricameral system is not as popular and it's a little bit more difficult to um, uh, uh, for things to work. Um, a great old... Uh, tricameral system was uh, the Estates General, 
used in uh, the Ancien Regime in France, um, which we all, if we studied the French Revolution, know didn't end so well. Um, so yeah, that, those are the forms of legislatures and kind of names that are used to define them. Uh, so this is Joshua with Cultural Catholic signing off.